Hello and uh, welcome to my little photo montage video here. I managed to figure out a uh, Windows Media uh, Movie Maker and I put this together. It's kind of a preview of the videos I have. Uh, this is a party right at the beginning of the year for all the new people and uh, returning people as well. Uh, we socialize a lot because there's not much else to do here. So a lot of uh, parties and things. This is my bedroom before I had a cleaning woman. And before I put all the stuff away that I got in the container, we shipped a container of stuff over from the States. Uh, it took about two and a half months to get here. Uh, finally got it all put away. It looks better now. It's a typical road here in Wagadugu. Dirt. A few cars. Uh, it's a pharmacy down in Po, a little village. And uh, it's just for all the people in Turkey and especially for Madonna. <laughs> uh, this is down near Tibile, a village we went to. It's a baobab tree. Me under the baobab. My little car. Uh, they use a baobab tree for food and shade, obviously. Kind of a symbol of sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, in the village of Tibule here, some cooking pots. Uh, and this village is famous because they paint all the houses with these black designs. The women come in at the beginning of the year and uh, they paint all the houses. I guess the men kind of play drums and watch. Uh, the food here is... I tried a little bit. I've had some local food. It's not as good as Eastern African food or North African food. Uh, just not quite the variety that you ha can get there. You see the entrance to the house. Uh, on the left is a fetish. A uh, fetish is kind of a little shrine to a local spirit. There's a lot of Christianity and Islam here, but there's a lot of animus beliefs mixed in with everything. That's a grain tower. And you'll see another one soon. Uh, Jesus is my savior. Yes. Well, good for them. Uh, dinner. And that was very stinky. It's good. I can't put the smell in here. Uh, you see snakes uh, on the side of the house there. Protect the house from bad spirits. Uh, you see there a uh, roof. That roof collapsed actually. We found out. Uh, some Fred could speak French so he asked. He said the roof collapsed and trying to rebuild it. That's the danger of living in a mud house. It sometimes collapse. Uh, drying leaves on top of the house. And that's Fred and Kim, and that's the house that they're standing on right there. That's how big it is. Uh, some geckos uh, on the side of the house. Again, more protection. Grain tower. They, to get the grain out, uh, they keep it in there, keep it safe from animals and rain. To get the grain out, they just uh, pull the top off and scoop it out. And this is a mill. They grind the grain right there. A local. <laughs> some kid was following us around because white guys in the village. Uh, there's a, the branch you see there is the steps up to the roof. That's how they get up to the top. It's my little car. <laughs> Don't know why I have that picture in here. This is a picture of an Elon. We went to the presidential zoo. This is up in the, about an hour north of Ouagadougou now. So the other pictures were south. This is north. It's an ostrich uh, getting close to my car. <laughs> this is a hyena. Stinky animal, but friendly enough to let you touch his feet. Ugly warthog, nothing like uh, Pumbaa from The Lion King. Good eating though. A hippo. Uh, these animals, I felt bad for a lot of them because they're crammed into these little cages. Uh, not a nice place to see animals. Uh, this is a village uh, down near Banfora now, now in the southwest. I went down here uh, for a week, had a week off. Uh, it's abandoned now because everyone in the village had gone <laughs> caves that we met up there uh, by accident, but we saw each other. Uh, everyone has gone now in the summertime to uh, in the fall to the valley to do farming, and they'll come back in the wintertime to this village. That's the market right there. Uh, <laughs> half it's full of alcohol. A lot of drinking here. Uh, this is one of the boys from the mosque. You can always tell them by the head of those red cans. And it says, don't exploit these children here. Uh, what the imams will do at the mosque, and here's an example of a mosque in Bobo, a very old Sudanese mosque. Uh, they will get these boys to go out on the street and collect money, and at the end of the day, they have to take whatever money they got back to the mosque. And here you see a couple of kids. These kids followed me around trying to sell stuff and just wound up talking and dancing, and <laughs> looking for something to do. A very cool mosque I went inside. Uh, this is a river that goes right through the middle of Bobo. It serves as bathing, uh, clothes washer, and as a toilet. And 
it just is a cesspool. The people, animals, just walk through and do all sorts of nasty things in and <laughs> dump trash in, as you can see right there. <laughs> the trash collection is a bunch of chickens and goats. And uh, it's amazing it's why they don't get sicker than they do. Uh, everyone, you point a camera and uh, everyone on them to get in the picture. Young boys city here. <laughs> I don't know who put that on there, but it's kind of funny. Uh, you see a man here. They put this image in a lot of uh, a lot of statues and paintings, and you see it's real. Uh, a lot of old men walk around, little hats and their sticks, their walking staffs. Again, women carry all kinds of things in their heads. This is uh, near Carfagella. These are rock formations, and I went there. This is uh, near Bobo as well. I was stayed there and hiked around this place for a day. Uh, I wound up uh, walking through here. There you go. Still looking good. Uh, this tall grass you see, I was hopping on the rocks and climb up and climb up down the rocks, but when I have to walk through the grass, I had this grass allergy and I got bad rash. Uh, this is the sugarcane field I got lost in. You see looking out again from the top of the rock. The sugarcane field, I, I had to try to find my way around uh, driving on these dirt roads and I kept asking farmers, again here's a sugarcane how to get there and I, I finally managed to find it. No signs, nothing like that, just uh, sense of direction. <laughs> uh, these are just some cuts in the rock. I don't know why I took this except they're kind of interesting. It's like they were cut with a saw but it's just water I guess. And the waterfalls. I, after climbing on those rocks all day I came to these waterfalls. Uh, again no signs, just happened to find them and I uh, went for a swim. Uh, you got to be careful in the water here because there's a good chance you can get just this myosis, a little worm, uh, from slow moving water. But in the fast moving water like this, uh, they say it's pretty safe. So I took a chance and haven't gotten sick yet. <coughs> um, it's felt so good to be in that cold water after hiking around all day. So here's some more water falls off to the side of the road I just stopped at and uh, <laughs> I had to get some good pictures here. And I took another swim. Uh, this is a Halloween party we had at school. It's uh, Peter on the left and Paco on the right in the mask in the coffin. He'd uh, pop out uh, any time that uh, someone would come by, scare all the little kids. Uh, I don't teach him. He's a funny kid, though. It was a good Halloween party. Uh, costumes aren't quite as good as what we had at Dachka, though, for the first couple of years. This is a cultural festival. Uh, they, they came from all over West Africa here. Uh, these are some dancers in the masks. Uh, every night for two weeks this thing went on. A, usually it was free or it cost a dollar to get in. And uh, this is a play that we went to. Uh, it was in French, but we got the general idea. It's called the Baobab Tree, and you can see a Baobab Tree here. Um, but they do support the arts here quite a bit. And uh, they have a lot of uh, local artists and, and cultural festivals here. And people come from all of West Africa and all over the world at some points uh, to some of the bigger festivals and uh, I look forward to going to some of those. So that is my little video narration here. Uh, I hope you can uh, take a look at the other videos and that you enjoy them. It's a good time here in Africa. Uh, I'm looking forward to the cool season a little bit but uh, <laughs> as you can see we have enough stuff to do and we have a good air-conditioned house. Life is good. Alright, later.